Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video was gonna be about um, my bathroom. I wanted to show you guys how I did my bathroom, the steps it took, but um, I also wanted to um, put my designs in my bathroom, like all my um, home, my houseware in the bathroom. That's gonna be the next video. But this video, I wanted to um, share some information with you guys about um, just about like um, one one person a person asked me about my floors. Yes, I did my floors myself. These floors, like these floors, you can these is hardwood floors, but um, but you can buy stickers. They have them in stickers, the same kind of hardwood floors. They have them in stickers, like clip clip-ons you could clip is way cheaper than um the um the ones i bought they are you have to snap them together or whatnot but they have ones the same way as these um my whole house my whole floors look like this see they're not clean at the bottom they look clean um yeah i have to get some paint off the floors but yeah my whole apartment is like this the whole apartment is like that. I did it, my yes, I did my floors myself. I bought my floors from a place called West Men Outlet. West Men Outlet. They have it on Murray Boulevard um, in Queens. I bought my floors from there. They have stick-ons. They have, you can buy floors from Home Depot. You can buy floors from Lowe's. But I chose West Men Outlet because um, they gave me a deal, and as I kept on coming and coming, coming inside, they gave me a deal. So, and they work with you, they give you discounts. You can find whatever color you want, they have different colors. Um, like I said, I have the clip on ones, you don't have to get clip on. You can get, I mean, I have snap on, so you don't have to get snap on. You can get stickers, they have floors that are stickers, and they are just as well as good as the hardwood ones. but you shouldn't use as much water on them after a while like you can't soak your you can't soak a sticker you understand but um some other information i wanted to i know y'all hear my washing machine in the back you see how i got it stacked up together see and it's on the wall instead of hanging out the um the window i can show you where i bought that item Ooh that item from right there to make my washing machine stick stick um my dryer and my washing machine stick together stack together together the um the dust go inside the vent you need a um a vacuum to make sure all your dust is out of your dryer or it will cause problems for you in the future not because of the vent thing is Period. You need a a vacuum for your dryer. Um, to suck all the lint, extra lint that you did not get out of your dryer, or you will have problems with your dryer in the future. Um, okay. Um, like like I was telling you guys, I live in um NYCHA housing. I say I'm a lot because I just started doing this video. I'm so sorry about that. As I as I was telling you guys, I live in um. I live in NYCHA housing and I made my apartment comfortable for me and my kids. It was something I decided to do. Where I live at, they are, I, they help, they help, like they are supposed to be, they supposed to do um, like walls and um, fix your, your plumbing and so they, they have to do that. They have, landlords have to do that. Every everywhere you are, but far as putting floors on my floor, they didn't. They was um, NYCHA comes with a certain type of floor, so I didn't like those type of floors that I had. Oh, and not, but if you like them, you can keep them. That's that's on you. But like I said, I decided to buy um, floors from Westman Outlet. You could get stickers, whatever kind that you want. They have them in different colors, but um, yeah, I didn't I didn't like the floors when I first moved in. When I first moved in this apartment, um, 
and you first move in any apartment, you should have an inspection. If you have an inspection, you should have you should have people coming. You should go view your own apartment, make sure that the walls are straight, that there's no holes. Because I'm telling you, when you start putting your furniture up in your apartment, you gonna you gonna start seeing little spiders, little creatures. Like, wait a minute, if you don't take care of your, if you don't do if you don't go expect your apartment like you're supposed to. Because they're not going to tell you. Long, landlords just really want the money. They're not going to tell you, oh, there's a hole on the floor and this and that. They're not going to show you the hole. They want the money for the apartment. Um, but I live, like I said, I live in an apartment, um, NYCHA. Other people live in apartment houses and stuff like that. When you go into anything that you're going to spend your money on, you must expect it from inch to inch, inch to inch. You have to expect it. They will take your money and that's it. Landlords are supposed to fix everything in your apartment. That's what you're paying for. Yes, they are supposed to fix everything in your apartment. But sometimes they take too long. Sometimes they're not gonna come on time. Sometimes because if you didn't pay them, they won't come at all. So this information I'm giving to you so you can use it just in case if you do get into those altercations or if you do run into that, the problems. Um, when, when I first moved into this apartment, this is not my first um, NYCHA apartment, but um, I had, my first NYCHA apartment was, oh my God. I'm, it, oh my God. When I first moved into it, I freaking, I expected an apartment. I didn't see nothing wrong with it. And then once I started putting my furniture in it, I'm talking about my first apartment, not this apartment. When I started putting my furniture in it, oh my God, I started seeing roaches, water bugs. I'm like, yo, what the heck? I was scared to sleep. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I was scared to sleep. Seriously. I don't know if you have those problems or if you had those problems, but no, 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 baby. I could not deal with that. I'm sorry. So I had to get a transfer. I had to move. And I said, I vowed to myself, like, oh, heck no, I'm never. So when I moved into this apartment, I looked. I expected everything. I made sure. If I seen a hole, I covered it up. I covered everything. I covered everything. Everything. When I say I covered everything, everything. Because they not going to... Landlords ain't not gonna do the job that you want done unless you have that big, big, big money. And yes, yes, yes. No, I, I didn't. So I had no other choice but to do the job myself. Um, it was things that wasn't perfect, like the my walls is walls in the nitro is not straight. Um, say for instance, if you um, they take forever, so I do not like to wait for them. Point blank, period. Point blank, period. Yes, they are supposed to do the job. But when they do do your job, do they do it properly? Because the ones that I have dealt with had some, yes, some of them did the job as they supposed to do. But the but the timing, the timing with it and all the amount of tickets that you have to put in, you have to put the right ticket in for this. You have to put, mm, no, no, sorry, no. I have to, you have to put a ticket in for each room, each wall. That's not fair. That's not right. That's not right at all. So instead of me putting in tickets for each room, each wall, I just started to cover up holes myself. I started making up my making my walls straight myself, plastering my own walls, fixing up because that's how. To, and um, you're gonna you're not gonna have a lot of like. You're not gonna see any creatures if you go in and you cover up all your holes. You cover up everything. I freaking even got some for the radiators. I, um, on the bottom of my radiators, um, he only come out on the top of my radiators, on the bottom of my radiators, because I didn't want anything coming out of my radiator. I found some heating um, plastering that you could put, and I just, put it, plaster it on the bottom of it. So now the heat come up on the top. So I don't have no holes anywhere, not even from radiators or what, pipes. No, I covered up every hole possible I seen before before I brought my furniture into my apartment. 
Um, next, I started working on my floors. After that, I started working on the floors. The floors was very difficult. Um, I, um, you're, you're supposed to have knee pads on when you do any type of work with your knees. After a while, your knees will not like the way it feels when you are on hard, hard concrete or whatever it is. You're supposed to use the proper um, equipment, basically. And I didn't have any knee pads. I just worked straight through or whatnot. But you're supposed to have knee pads when you're dealing with with the floors but that's what i did i did the floors myself you have to you can't put them in straight rows they are plain pla plaques planks they, you cannot put them in straight rows they have to be put in a design on the floor like you could do one long one short one long short long whatever i started with my floors um my bathroom was under construction for a very long time that's why i can't wait to the next video to show y'all how i did my bathroom how I did everything in my bathroom. Anything I, anything that um that was in the bath, everything that's in the bathroom, I took out like the sink, the mirror, the lights in the bathroom. I took them out and I put tickets in for those things. For them, I took them out myself because they, when they come, they're not gonna take your sink out for you. They're not gonna take your light lighting out for you in your bathroom. They're not gonna take those things out so I took them out myself and I put a ticket in for them to come get their stuff for them to come pick up their sink for them to come pick up their light and for them to come pick up their mirror for the bathroom I um put in tickets so they could get their equipment back so they wouldn't say oh she threw our equipment out or where's our equipment no no I gave them their equipment right back and I might need it in the future my my I, like i said i have my own products in here um i'm on refrigerator my own stove i mean not my own stove or whatnot but um yes i have my own things because it because i didn't want these things and i might i might need it in the future just in case if my things stop working in the future i can always call them and be like oh i need a refrigerator oh i need a stove or oh, i need a new sink another sink or a mirror or um a lighting in the bathroom like i said i took all those things out i called i made tickets so they could come pick up they sink they mirror and they lighting all of that stuff i did myself i put it in my bathroom very cheap items i told you that you could get your items from home depot lowe's amazon those places i'm gonna show you um, how I fixed it up. I can't I can't wait to show y'all that because I've worked my bathroom was under construction for a long time um, I use housing. I use housing housing pipe for my sink because I didn't want them to say oh Those are not my pipes. No, those are your pipes So when anything happens to my sink my pipe, they have to come fix it They do not help you with any of like say for instance my um my stove break they're not gonna help me because it's my stove my refrigerator break they're not gonna help me because it's my refrigerator my sink break they're not gonna help me because it's my sink like i said if you do what i just told you to do you write in tickets and you give them the equipment back when those things happen you are able to get what you gave to them so you won't have any altercations or any problems so um yeah that's what i did um I just came in here and just wanted to really make it comfortable for for me and my kids. That's it. I, I said, like, I liked the fact that it had no light or gas, but it's still complications with that. Like, not, it is a, like, I'd rather it, you know, but, you know, but, um, yeah. I just wanted to make it comfortable for me and my kids so i wanted to share with you some some information on how you can make it comfortable if you are in the same situation as me because not everybody had like i said not everybody had money to move into a house a new home to relocate to buy any land to buy a new room or whatever the case may be so you have to stick with what you have for the meantime and this is what i did um some people say oh no don't renovate your homes and this and that don't renovate your homes 
that's up to you. If you would like to wait for someone to come fix whatever you got going on, then you can wait. If you want the landlord, you think the landlord is supposed to do that, then wait for your landlord. You understand? Um, you do pay money to live where you at. So yes, your landlord is supposed to fix those things. But where I'm at is a protocol. It's protocols to everything in life, period. So, um, yeah, I just been following those protocols and it's just doing my own my own little thing as why I'm, why I'm here, why I've been here. And I just wanted to, you know, share information and share um, crafts, low budget ideas like items, equipment. Okay. No, it was not expensive for me and um, it's worth it. It is definitely worth it after a while. It's worth it because, um, you know, you won't have, like, it's your stuff. Like, it's nothing better than, your, it's nothing better than, you know, if you, I, I, I don't know. I, I like having my own stuff. So this is what I like. I like having my own stuff. I like um, doing my own little projects and stuff. And, yeah. And like I said, I'm so sorry. <laughs> This is my first, like, I'm getting used to talking to people on, like, on, on camera. I'm getting used to talking to the people, period. I'm getting used to talking to the camera itself. Like, um, I'm a very shy person. I'm not, it's like, very shy. But, guys, hopefully I get better at this camera thing. I would, I would love to get better at this camera thing because I, I have so much good content, so much good ideas that I would love to to give people um yeah I've, um a lot of things like outlets um another thing like outlets i changed myself those was really easy all you have to do is turn the breakup the breaker box off get through some new outlets because i know some people outlets ain't the same houses are supposed to change your outlets they landlords are supposed to change everything actually um but like i said i did this stuff myself they're not gonna give you floors like this the floors that i had i did not i did not like them um yeah and like i said i had pre previous altercations this is not my first nitro apartment my other nitro apartment that i had oh my god baby 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 if y'all have some um nitro stories let me know because i had some boy oh boy i had some for you but <laughs> yeah um that's it for now if you need any any more information or anything you can comment like comment and subscribe please for more information um my next video my next video my kids want to do a video so we're gonna we're gonna you're gonna see the kids the next video and then i'm gonna show you more of my nitro apartment and how it came how i made it comfortable for me and my kids the bathroom will be next. I can't wait to show y'all that part. Um, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe if you need any more. You can ask me anything. I'm, I'm open for questions on questions about my projects and my videos. I'm definitely open about those. If you need anything, if you want to know anything, um, if you need any help with anything. I have good information on a lot of things, like a lot, low budget.